Welcome back to another Age of Empires 2 Top 5 Plays. We are looking at the month of July. We have so many great clips. I went through a total of 33 clips and rated them, found the best five and a few honorable mentions. This week includes, or sorry, this month includes quite a few Canadians. We have Slam, Dave, and Hera all showing up. And we also have quite a few quick walls. So let's take a look at the fifth place clip. We have Slam, part of the Gamer Legion team playing in the red as the Spanish, and he's decided he's going to invest in a castle and conquistadors. On the other hand, we have ACCM playing as the Persians, not quite with trash bows yet, but definitely has some crossbows and some knights. ACCM is pretty much fully prepared for these conquistadors. He's trying to apply the pressure while he has a better economy. Let's see what Slam can do. That was really well done micro by Slam, making sure he got that first shot off on the cavalry to thin their numbers so that the conquistadors could pick them off, getting that big shot on the crossbowmen that just barely were unable to take out the mangonel, and the, the attack round was spot on as well. So really well done there by Slam to uh, recover there in that match. Our fourth place clip is with... A few players that aren't quite at the top, top level, but they're still very strong players. We have Hellas playing in the blue as Portuguese versus Project Belgium playing as the Japanese. So Hellas here sees Project Belgium trying to expand onto this gold pile, and he's going to keep trying to push while Project Belgium is getting to Imperial Age. So Hellas is a little bit behind here, but no worry. He's just going to keep this crossbow alive try to pick off these villagers. These villagers are doing a great job on the house wall though. Uh, let's see if he can pick them all off. For fuck's sake. Just kidding. My army doesn't. <laughs> Your army doesn't scare me. <laughs> that was some nice micro. Yeah, Hellas is like not even coming to. I don't know. I don't know even what to say after that clip. That micro was just uncanny. I can never pull that off in a million years. Really well done. Uh, still has a ways to go, but those villagers aren't going anywhere. Those mangonels are going only to the grave. Next up in third place, we have a clip between Jordan and Bling from just, you know, the rank ladder. We have Jordan playing in the blue as the Saracens on Mega Random. Mega Random is a map that's near and dear to my heart. I don't see it enough. Jordan, this map generation looks like kind of like four lakes or cross. So Jordan's trying to get his fish out into this corner lake and um, just get his eco going. You can see the fishermen on the dock just trying to get as much work out of these villagers, make them as efficient as possible. Jordan gonna make another lumber camp, get his economy really well put together. And he does see Bling's scout come in here. You wanna take that scout out before feudal age, before it gets the free forging. <laughs> we made we made Man. what i really like about this clip is just how inventive it was with the trap using the dock as part of the wall and even in the middle of it while he was tracking the scout he was still fixing his fishing ships to make sure that they were active so really well done there by jordan i thought that was a very inventive quick wall our next clip is in second place is from the Masters of Arabia tournament. This is hosted or at least co-hosted by John Slow. Here we see his face cam 
And this is a match between Rise in the blue, who's just trying to boom, and Bloodless, who's going to come in as Portuguese with his cheaper monks and try to put the pressure on. Take a look at the tower that's being built. He's trying to build tower defense, but that might be a bit too late. He doesn't have a tournament. His monks are getting converted, and his monks can continue converting the scout. He's trying to wall the tower off with rams, but now the scout, his own scout, are going to help these uh, rams to take the tower down. One ram went down, he should go and attack the tower. Exactly, this is looking great for Bloodless. Let's go, CL. Oh, and Rice didn't have loom. Rice didn't have loom. Is he going to hold? Is he going to hold? He's 23 villagers ahead of Bloodless. Bloodless needs to get the tower down. If the tower survives, Rice is still in a decent spot. Let's see. Tower is down. Did he convert the tower? Was it a yellow? Oh, that was the yellow tower. And GG is cold, man. He converted the tower. I was wondering why Bloom was attacking. So John Slow is going to play a quick replay here just to see how quick this conversion was. Look. One, two, three. Please, it's last breath. That Mon converted the tower and died and won Bloodless the game. That was next freaking level, boys. Yeah, I'll never complain about conversion times ever again on my units. That was just incredible. Buildings are supposed to take quite a bit longer to convert. And Bloodless just... I mean, he was in a great position, but he got pretty lucky there. Uh, next up, we have an honorable mention with uh, a different caster that you might, may or may not be familiar with under his disguise. We have Hera playing as Luigi. Uh, this was part of his subathon. You can see the timer right above his face cam. That was the countdown on how many uh, hours and minutes he had left to stream. And this is a challenge. You really look like Luigi. Did you do your Euro Cup? No, no, no. Oh my god, they just finished the thingy. Okay, we're gonna about to embarrass this guy. We're gonna about to embarrass this guy. Oh! That's gangster Luigi right there. That is gangster Luigi. That is backwards hat. Oh my god. Oh my. Someone get this guy a stretcher, bro. He is out. So yeah, as I was saying, this was part of Harris subathon. He was just kind of playing challenges, showing off. But yeah, quite a quick wall. He's just showing off his APM, just trying to trap people, stunt on people. Uh, I just love that he he spent the time to flip his hat around in the middle of the clip just to really stunt on this guy. Uh, really good showmanship there by Hera. Uh, our second honorable mention of the month is from our favorite controller player. Of course, it's Dave. He is playing on islands, it looks like. And he has these two villagers walling off in a demo ship. And he knows exactly what to expect. His spidey senses are just on point like i'm not sure if he saw the archer range before <laughs> it didn't seem like it but yeah really well done um he, he mentioned later that everyone just waits for the hole and he just directed those archers perfectly into the hole so uh, yeah really well done all with the controller too so really impressive i'll have to try out the controller see how it, how it works one of these days and then of course in first place Many of you have probably already seen this clip. It's been one of the most popular clips earlier this month. We have Doubt playing in the red versus Hera. This is part of Collection Cup, I believe, hosted by Loco Ser. First, I'm going to show you Doubt's clip, and then I'm going to show you Viper casting this event. Get fucking away from my game. Go play Don't Lose Will. Oh, I will lose a will. I get the fuck away. This is my game. I do this for a living, man. I do this for a living, man. Get the fuck away. 
Doubt is not known for his micro, and that was a 1 HP build that it was able to quick wall off. And let's see what Viper thinks of this. Uh, scouting the base. Doubt has a really nice base, back wood lines, kind of safe wood lines in the back, and also two golds safely towards the back. So it looks like a very nice map for Doubt. <gasps> what? Wait, Doubt doesn't have loom. You're gonna lose your villagers, Doubt. Stop it. You're losing villagers. <gasps> I hope you guys enjoyed this top five plays of the month. July has been a spectacular. I can't wait to see what's in store for August. Uh, if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe so you get notified when the top five plays of August comes out. I have, what, 33 total clips that I looked at for July. The links for the spreadsheet are in my Discord. Link for my Discord is, of course, in the description. Take a look at those clips and let me know if you think there's some other clips that were even better uh, that you want to see. Uh, if you want to see certain more of micro, more of quick walls, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see you next month.